Hello, walkers, and welcome back to the Dolomites in Italy this morning. Um, we're going to be walking through Selva di Val Gardena, um, which is the woods of the <coughs> Valley of the Garden or something, Garden Valley, something like that. It's also known as Wolkenstein di Gronde, I think, or Groner. Um, in any case, my name is Henry. I will be your proxy walker today your co-discoverer, your co-hiker, and finder of little things that might be fun to see. Uh, it is 11 a.m. We're going to turn around here uh, and show you some stuff, but uh, 11 a.m. We are at about 5,000, a little over 5,000 feet of elevation. Uh, I think it's 15, 1,600 feet, uh, meters, uh, 6 degrees Celsius, 42 degrees Fahrenheit, uh, in the middle of, well, we're getting on towards late September, actually. You can see, uh, I'm going to tell you a little bit about this and then we'll get to walking. But um, you can see all the ski stuff here and uh, all the wood and the, the Germanic Alpine, in terms of Alps, Alpian maybe, uh, architecture here. you got this beautiful little creek coming up. Those mountains are the Sella group. Um, and then <clears throat> the road goes up off to the right up to uh, Sella Pass. And then off to the right behind this hill is uh, Sasso Longo and some other uh, Sassos, Sasso Medio, etc. We did a hike over there but didn't film it. Uh, you can look down here. Here's like a little uh, cat track skiing area coming down to all these hotels. We've got a gondola up there, headed up to the top. Gondolas everywhere. I took a bus here um, from Ordezai, where we're staying. Super easy. Uh, when you stay in Ordezai, or any of these towns really, uh, they will give you typically, sorry for the wind, um, they will typically give you a little card called the Guest Pass, the Sud, -tor Sud Tyrol Alto a DJ guest pass. It's a little cardboard thing with a magnetic strip. And that gives you free access to the buses and some other benefits. So uh, if you're coming here, check that out. Uh, this area is known for wood carving. And there are tons of sculptures and build house uh, places to see it. We went to a Latin museum in Ordez Isle. Do another walk in Ordezai and, and maybe we'll go by there. Uh, it's kind of interesting. Uh, Latin is a language group, a culture that overlaps a little bit of northern Italy, part of Austria, I think, and into Switzerland a little bit. It's a Romance language. Uh, and I this area is 90% Latin speaking, um, which I think is pretty interesting. Uh, quick shout out to the Patreon supporters. Thank you very much. As always, check out the description below if you want to learn how to help support these videos and travels. There goes a the bus. Um, and also, shout out to CityWalksVirtualTours.com, which is the website which has uh, a lot of, uh, has, will have all the walks eventually. Currently doing one a day of the older walks to that. Um, and what else? I get excited at the beginning of these walks, and so I feel like I, I start blurting stuff out. I want to get it all out and share it with you guys. So, but we got plenty of time here. We're going to walk through. This is sort of a long town that stretches throughout this valley, and it goes to Santa Cristina and then to Ortizai slash St. Ulrich. Uh, Urtizai in Latin, I think. These towns, they all have a couple, two to three names. Uh, in each of the languages. Um, they're all similar sounding, the way you sound them out, but um, not always the same. Or design or rich, not that far off, but very different. So I just want to show you some of the architecture too, because I love the architecture here. A lot of wood, a lot of stone. Let me get you centered up here. Um, that's an older building, <clears throat> and we'll, I'll point stuff out as we go. Lots of pedestrian paths and walkways too. Um, I'll go up here and we'll look across the street at this map because honestly you don't really need to know the, the details of the paths but that bus stop over there has a map 
and uh, you probably can't tell, but there are just dozens and dozens of different paths around and apps to help you find them. Uh, look at these mountains coming up here. <clears throat> so, very accessible places. Place Lots of outdoor activities. Here's an outdoor school, uh, ski school, rental shop, uh, and other stuff for summer. They've got a lot of biking here, a lot of e-bikes, e-bikes everywhere. I love seeing the e-bikes. Um, and not just uh, for riding on trails, but just getting around here. You know, these streets are narrow and it's, I have to give a huge shout out to the uh, bus drivers who wrangle these big buses up these narrow roads and through these towns. Uh, you can see a lot of construction going on here right now. Um, but, you know, it's a lot easier to get around on an e-bike, at least when it's not snowing, than it is on a car in, or by foot. So, huge, uh, not a huge problem, but a huge challenge solved or alleviated by that new technology. If you have any questions about the area, area uh, please put them in the description below, or in the comment section below, sorry. And, uh, and I'll do my best to answer them. Uh, or maybe somebody else will answer them. A lot of ski schools here. Um, a lot of decent wines in the area as well, I think. Uh, at least for, for somebody who doesn't drink a lot of wine or know a lot about it. <clears throat> certainly seems decent. Um, definitely a limited selection of beers. That's all right. Ooh, it's, it's chilly. <laughs> Love this. I call it Germanic. I don't know if it's Alpine or Alpen or Swiss or Austrian, but this wood and stucco. Uh, detail and this is very organic looking very mountainous mountain like um, this is tons of hotels and <clears throat> sports shops and um, we can see some mountains out in that over there too uh, restaurants and all that fun stuff so we have actually uh, reached kind of the, the, the tourist season is trailing off right now uh, last week it was just slammed with people uh, and this week <laughs> as it's cooled down significantly uh, the uh, the tourism the other our fellow tourists have also uh, gone down the numbers but everything most things are still open a restaurant. Just love it. And they're all tiled roofs. Not terracotta. Most of it's this uh, synthetic kind of tiling, but it looks like you would get a terracotta roof. And then here's, uh, looks like this is going, but oh, okay, those are just some storage. So you've got these gondolas going up to the top. You can see Sasa Lungo. I think that's what that is. Just behind the clouds up there. Poking out. This big thumb of, of rock. Really cool. So these, uh, a one-way ticket on these gondolas is anywhere from 10 to 20 euros. So it's not cheap. Um, but it gets you up there quickly with not a lot of effort, which is nice. Here's a map, and I won't spend a whole lot of time on this, but I think you can see all these roads and hiking, all the red is sort of hiking paths and uh, various accesses, and then the black lines you kind of see there are gondolas or funiculars or something else, but just loaded with trails, and that's what most people are here doing right now, they're hiking. And they've got their Wanderstucks or their hiking poles. And uh, look at this hotel. Uh, 
and they take the gondolas up and they hike around and they have a beer and a, a fried egg and potatoes or a verst of some sort at a hut and make a day of it. You can see these are all ski trails, ski slopes, I believe. And I don't know how the pass works, how you pay for that. Uh, but hopefully I won't need to know for a while. Okay, so this building over there, directly across, is fairly old. It's got the, the right side, se side seems to be a barn and storage. And it's got some old wagons and stuff up there and some old beams. Um, I love it. You'll be here, you are in town with these awesome thick mason masonry built houses with wood trim and all that stuff. And then a hundred yards, 200 yards away, meters away, uh, you'll have a little farm with goats or cows eating on a 45 degree slope. Here's a, uh, a carving shop. I don't know if you'll be able to see it or not. It's a workshop in there. Oh, got to get out of the way here. Tell you what, though, some of these folks drive pretty quick on these uh, narrow roads, tiny little streets. But I've never felt uh, endangered. You know? Just I wouldn't feel comfortable doing that, not having the skill set. Here's this is interesting. This old building here, with real estate being limited as it is, you would think that that would be fixed up and repaired and all that. But there's probably reasons that it doesn't happen. I'm always curious about that. There are a couple guys over there working on something. I am going to... Well, this is what we do. That's why I say co-explorer, co-discoverer. Uh, we're going to take this path and see if we can get back up into these... Um, up into a neighborhood somewhere away from the main drag. Look at that steeple up there with the flags coming off of it in front of this giant cliff face. Oh. This says private. But that's all right. I think it's going to take us where we want to go. I love the painted embellishments around the windows and doors. Without that, you know, we'd <laughs> it's all just be white blocks, but they've got shutters and woodwork and all sorts of interesting stuff going on. Anyway, this is an interesting little area. So, on a lot of these buildings, you'll see Chesa and then a, num a name. And Chesa is like casa. It means house. Look at this. Beautiful. Love that. It's uh, one of the, oh, look at this beautiful church. It's not even, looks fairly modern in terms of the glasswork and some of the stonework, etc. But man, it's got a classic look to it. And I love those pendants flying off of it. And then...
these giant cliffs in the back. So fun. All right. Looking down at towards Santa Cristina, this valley. It's really kind of interesting. There's a uh, down just below Ortojai, St. Ulrich. Uh, it it's like a bowl and then there's this really narrow ravine where the road and the river goes has cut through it wouldn't take much to dam that up and uh, cause uh, you know to have this big reservoir and they chose not to do that which is pretty cool Look at these hotels I, I also like how small the hotels are you know they do have some big ones they have some big spa hotels but a lot of these are, um, you know, they probably have, I don't know, 20 rooms and a restaurant. We have had a lot of hot chocolate in the last couple of weeks. Speaking of restaurants, I don't know why. Look at this. And over here we've got a... I don't know if this is public building of some sort. I guess they're going to have a ski championship in here. Wow, look at this. I think it's a squala, a school. But I'm not sure. This is all very new and Pretty. Look at this place over here. Oh, this is something else I love. So, a lot of these places in Europe, not just here, but they have these little lawns, or big lawns, in the case of Estonia Park, park in Estonia, Cord Cordurai? No, I did a walk there. Anyway, you get these you can see it on the far side it's like a it's a robot mower and it just keeps the mow the lawn mowing it's just automatic it's like a Roomba with a blade one's a Husqvarna I believe oh here's a Rathaus or Municipio, municipio, municipio. Uh, this is a city building and police station looks like Cross over here. There's a little Kinder Plots coming up on the left. A little uh, playground. I, I guess I like. I'm trying to wrap my head around why I'm so drawn to. There's another view of the Cecil. Sella group. Um, the architecture here, part of it is just the organic aspect of wood. I really like that. Um, and not, and it's unpainted wood. Uh, it's not big sheets of plywood. And then it's the contrast with the stucco is nice. I also like, I, I want to say clean lines of these buildings, but there's a lot of curvature, a lot of detail, a lot of intricacy involved in it, but I think part of it is the solidity that comes with, uh, uh, yeah, okay, I'm trying to give you guys the best views of these mountains as we go around. Um, the solidity of these buildings is, is impressive. I also like you know, the, the apartment where we're staying, even the interior doors are solid. You close the door and the sound just shuts down. Uh, they also have some really cool windows in terms of uh, <clears throat> these glass windows and doors. You, they have three positions for the handle. One, the vertical pointed up, the handle points up, and you can tilt the window out so that the window actually tilts in, sorry. Um, and oh, sorry, I'm looking at what's going on over here. Um, 
and that sort of cracks the window a little bit or the door and so it tilts in from the top and it's fixed at the base if you keep make the handle horizontal if you close it and then turn the handle horizontal uh, it'll function like a swinging door or swinging window and then to close it and lock it you point the handle down it's just kind of a neat old barn that I want to show you pardon my sniffles there uh, I love these little birds uh, look at that old wood who knows how old that is oh my gosh anyway and then they're solid you know you close them and the, the sound just shuts down very energy efficient and then the doors themselves interior and exterior are just super solid uh, hefty some folks doing some work It's a bigger hotel. I guess a lot of people have wood fireplaces here, but that's another interesting thing to me, <laughs> which it shouldn't be, but it is. Oh, look at those mountains. Um, and that's that uh, these little details, and I'll try to find something to show you, but, but the firewood they use it's cut very small. I guess they have small stoves for the most part. Some of it's cut very small, but very long. Um, so I guess you cut it for your stove, but they, a lot of places have it. Hotel Costa. There's a sports shop. And then you've got these little a lot of gnomes and that sort of thing, and little troll type stuff. Super fun. I mean, super touristy, but I'm a tourist. I like it. Probably could have given me a little bit better view of that, so I love this too. They got this house that's who knows how old. But they just keep using it because why not? Chesa de Pau, I think is how you say that. Despar or Spar uh, is one of the two supermarket chains here uh, that I've seen. Although, uh, there are other supermarkets. And yeah, supermarket is, I'm going to show you some of the stuff. People will request to look in the shop window sometimes. A lot of silver and glass and uh, Alp-like, Alp-ish uh, motifs. Real fun. Um, Get what I was talking about. Yes, probably should have climbed over there. Let me cross. Uh, they're having a world chi ski championships here at some point. Trying to. La Odles. Odles are the names, the local name for the needles or the spires of rock, from the best of my knowledge. And here's our creek again. I'm going to give you just a quick view of this. It's sort of paved, but they've dropped giant boulders in here and then grouted between them, or whatever you say. There's a little European oozel at the base of that bridge. But how idyllic is that, right? Oh, fantastic. Um, yeah, and it makes sense. And then, of course, this white limestone breaks up and gets washed down, too. 
we're getting a lot of uh, fall colors are starting to come into effect here. Going back to the architecture and the solidity of it, it just feels uh, cozy and comfortable, I think. These houses also are, they're quite sizable without looking huge somehow. And I, to me, that's my impression. And I, I'm curious about why that is, how that works, you know? The German I mentioned is Wolkenstein for the town, Wolkenstein del Die uh, Grüne, maybe? in Groden, Groden. Uh, here's an old little calcio soccer foosball pitch. It's been allowed to grow over. I assume that's maybe it was something else. Maybe it was handball or something like that. We're gonna get down into another busier area here in a second. Keep an eye on other and, and watch other walking channels uh, from time to time. I try and comment, support them, um, but also see what they're doing differently that I might add to mine or change my channel, this channel, our channel, really, um, to make better. And I'm curious because some of these channels look like they're doing nothing different than, to, than me. Nothing, you know, I also watch all these channels about how to increase your traffic, etc. Let's, let's look around real quick. Um, and I, I'm at a loss. I don't really know why some of these other channels are getting tens of thousands of views. And then I'm not, look at this beautiful tree. Uh, this channel isn't. So if you have any suggestions, please let me know. I think one of the things, one of the differences <clears throat> is that these other channels don't say anything. They don't have any talking. Um, and I could do that, in theory. But most of you have uh, s expressed how much you enjoy the talking. And honestly, I enjoy the talking. So, uh, and in the end, I'd rather have a enjoyable channel than a popular one, if that makes sense. Restaurante. Oops. Been there. Just kind of hoping to cross over and but I don't think there's a whole lot up to the right. This is a newer house, or building, or hotel, uh, 1966, although that might be, that might be meters? No, it can't be meters.
Complois, I don't know how to pronounce that. I think that must be Latin if it's ending in a J. These, we're getting some nice, nice colors. There are a lot of larch trees around, but I think they've already turned and dropped their needles. You can see some dead, not dead, but uh, bare, what look like evergreens up there, but I think are larch. I guess they could be dead trees. The other thing that's so nice about all these houses is everybody seems to, or not everybody, so many people, so many houses seem to have these um, flower boxes. Some of them are multicolored, some of them are single colored, but they hang them, they maintain them, and they're beautiful. like we're about to run out of sidewalk here. That's all right. Let's cross right over. Older home building. Just walked into a steel post. The Alpen Royal Hotel here. This is the Garni Valtoy Rooms for Lent. Gachenka Bibite Drinks. Wine shop. I think what we'll do is we'll go up, there's a path up there. We'll make our way up there somehow. over there like I was saying earlier about the farms <clears throat> a couple hundred yards from the road and main road and you've got a little farm and about uh, six or seven goats grazing a 45 degree angle slope awesome see the uh, signs. We hiked to Coal Riser the other day. Oops. Took the uh, hiked to Coal Riser from Sasheda. Sasheda. Um, and uh, rather than descending took the took the gondola the Funavia down. Oh here's a Look at the cellar group up there in the mountains. Epic. Beautiful. Sorry to swing around. Hello. Guten Tag.
you're wondering where we are, because I can't really follow on the street names. I don't see any many street names. Um, we are at the bus stop L Ambolt. And I've seen L, it's sort of like La or L or The, I think, or Il. I believe it's the Latin The, and it's just an L. Look at the painted uh, decoration. I think there's a term for that, but I don't know what it is. Oh, look at that one. That's a modern version of uh, a modern take on these chalets. Maybe that's the word I'm looking for, chalet-like. Um, you've got that beautiful woodwork and the glass balcony up top. Beautiful. The other thing we've been wondering about is, I mean, this is not, and this one's showing its it's wear and tear, but um, most of these buildings are very well maintained, very, oh, there's Sasolungo, there. Um, they don't seem to show much weathering, and certainly they can't, in my mind, they can't possibly be repainting and restaining and sealing every single year or even every two years it doesn't make economic sense so how do they uh, handle that I guess we're seeing a few that don't but most of them do I uh, would have loved to learn some words in Latin, uh, but we kind of do our language learning through uh, Duolingo, not sponsored, would love to be sponsored, but, um, but uh, they don't have that for Latin. So this is uh, various trails, the Sud Tyrol and Val Gardena tourist areas have put up. That one, I like that too. It's got that rounded uh, bal balcony, balcon. Oh, look at that. I mean, how would you not want to look at that every day? It's amazing. Thinking back, I think I may have said I wasn't going to talk a whole lot on this, but once again, seen these old photos of the of the place back in the day an old steam train some tiny little passenger cars here's another map for trails and roads and stuff everything is tremendously well marked here jogger coming up the other cool thing they all have these basement garages you know horizontal spaces at a premium and so they dig in and, and they park their little cars in their little garages I don't know how you would get a big American SUV in there which is kind of nice to know that people can get by without that Another old barn intermixed with uh, 
modern homes. I believe this is where that hill, a tunnel goes underneath that hill. So, I'm not entirely sure. In fact, I think we may have left Selva de Gardena, Val de Gardena. I'm sorry, Selva de Val Gardena. In fact, I know we have, and we are approaching Santa Cristina. But we're gonna go down further and look back at uh, the, it's a castle. It's not a particularly epic castle, but it's still pretty cool. It's the, what is it, what's the, I think we're gonna look at it, let's see. Castel Gardena Fischberg. I'm not sure we'll actually see it though. Actually, we're gonna have to save that for another time as my battery's about to die. But thank you guys for joining us on this walk down from the top of Selva Val Gardena. Volkenstein de Groner, um, in Groner, down here. We'll walk down to this corner to look at the view, but um, I'm going to be doing more work walks. I'm going to do a couple around uh, Ordezai for sure, and then possibly Brixen, and thinking a little bit about um, uh, going up to Innsbruck for a night. So we'll have to check that out uh, and see, but... I want to share as much as I can while we're over here with you guys. And uh, so if you have any input, any requests, that sort of thing, hit me up. We're going to be heading to um, Venice for a few days, a little hill town called Montepulciano, which is a fairly well-known hill town. And there's a Tuscan valley there that's pretty well-known, I guess scenic uh and then we're going to go to ischia and which is off of naples an island and then we're going to go down to just outside of sorrento and then finish up in rome so if you have any requests any suggestions please let me know thank you guys and we will see you again soon until then you know what i'm going to say keep on stepping